Thank you, Eric. Ang title po na yan ay medyo misnomer. Sapagkat po, ang results ng rep sa pre-conference just uh, last month, diba? Last two weeks ago. Ay, ay ito. At ang mangyayari mamayang hapon. So, ang i-report ko po ngayon is actually a brief history of the events that led to today. Okay? And I will present some interesting information that might help us uh, in our discussions later on. So, to begin with, uh, sandali po. Sandali po. Okay. Ito po ay isang um, what summary. This is a summary of the profile of reps in UPLB. Frequency count lang po ito. Very simple. Ako naman po ay matter of fact person. Hindi ako marunong mag-borloloy kahit sa aking ano, presentation. So, it's a... Uh, in total, ang reps ng UPLB ngayon ay 374. At uh, more than half of that ay R's, researchers. 75 are extension staff and the rest are PS, including some guidance counselors, mga 12 if I'm not mistaken, and the rest are librarians. So, sa dalipo. Can we go to... Yan. Mapapansin po ninyo na itong aking table na ito ng permanent reps in UPLB ay may mga nakadilaw na highlight. The reason is, I want you to take note of the fact that at, at certain salary grades, mapapansin ninyo na iba-iba ang qualifications. Merong salary grade 14 na may PhD, May salary rate 12, I think, na meron pa rin PhD. Na ang salary rate 12, as you know, is uh, lower in pay than grade 14. Okay? Yun lang, that's the reason why I put those highlights lamang. Just to make us appreciate the fact that there seems to be a uh, difference in what? Valuation? by unit heads or APCs of certain uh, credentials or certain persons, applicants, or maybe there is a uh, difference in appreciation of the what uh, standard entry point criteria. Apparently, there is a UPLB policy which is which, j which jives sa hiring, ha? which jives with that of the civil service because as a matter of fact, pag nagpo-post ang HRDO at saka yung ina-endorse yung unit uh, demand or request for hiring, ang ipinapost nila ay essentially yung basic requirements na uh, according to civil service policies. Okay? So apparently there is this standard, this minimum standard, which drives with, with that of the civil service. But uh, somehow, pagdating ng actual hiring, uh, alam naman natin, pagdating ng um, interview, ano, interview point or interview level, ay uh, doon nakakaroon ng variations in application of the minimum requirement. Okay? So, yan ang reason kung bakit may mga dilaw-dilaw. Katulad dito, uh, OVCAA University Extension Specialist, salary grade 18. May mga occupants na may BS. Merong may PhD at merong may MS. MM. So the range of credentials ay pinapasok or nagtinanggap. Okay? At meron din naman, makikita nyo doon sa bandang grade 12, 
a PhD for a grade 12, which is how much? 11,000? 12,000? I don't know. Kulang po sa investment ng tao sa kanyang pag-aaral. Anyway, yun lang po ang, ang point ng table na yan. It's just an interesting trivia. Okay, next. Okay. Ito naman po ay parang baliktanaw lamang no? sa mga bagay na alam na naman natin ng matagal na. So this is just a sort of a, uh, statistical uh, presentation or summary of the profile of reps in UP. Pwede ba natin palakaman? <laughs> One, one page per. Okay. So, as you can see, of 374 reps, uh, ang R's ay 332. That includes 129 uh, ano yan, second level, ano? Mid-echelon URA na eh, as associates. At saka uh, URs. Okay? Tapos, sa mga URs, may mga faculty reps. Um, eight associate research associate faculty at saka 11 ay de, eight assistant faculty research faculty 11 associate research faculty and how many? two research professors ngayon there are 75 extension personnel or staff and ah, 34 pala all in all yung professional staff 22 or 24 are guidance counselors ah librarians sorry okay so over 25 percent of reps are non-tenured pero dun sa pinakita ni chancellor sa atin na ano yung profile ng employment ng reps sa UPLB halos wala nang non-tenured na reflected sa kanyang ano, no? So, uh, I would like to believe tama si Chancellor. Let's just hope that yun ang tunay, no? Na, na ano, okay? So, sa aking mali na statistics, 91% ay 91 or 17.6 are temporary at 30 or 7% are perennial casuals. Iba yung mga ano, so nandiyan yung... Pero, as dahil nga siguro dun sa review of the upper out policy, which is precisely the reason why uh, it was held, ay dahil nga para ma-address itong problema nitong mga perennial casuals or itong mga 20 years as temporary, mga ganyan. No? So anyway, uh, as I said, I am. I, I, I'd like to believe that the chancellor is chancellor's statistics are more precise, more correct. Over one third have advanced degrees in PhD. Ako walang uh, wala kami uh, quarrel ng chancellor's statistics with that. Ang level ng ng qualifications ng temporary <laughs> halos kapantay na rin ng mga permanents. Okay. Most of the temps and the casuals are researchers. Only, only nine of the uh, researchers are rank two. All the rest are rank one. Considering that, how many percent of them already have PhDs? Ibig sabihin, they're still at entry point levels. Okay? Next. 31 or 25 of all the non-tenured reps have over 15 years of service in UBLP. So yun siguro yung kinokorekt nga or, or that is what the up or out policy review tried to address. No? Para nga ma-correct ma na nga yung problema ng lack of tenure. Okay, next po. 
Okay, less than 10% are at grade levels 22 and above. Of 374 reps, pag less than 10%, less than 40? Ang at 22 and above. Or less than 37 are at 22 and above. Lahat halos ay 18 and below. Okay, the new charter from 2008, yung UPLB chapter, determined that ang basihan for hiring ay ang sumusunod. Okay? Sterling performance instruction, research, extension, and public service. Yun ang bagong tawag ngayon sa, ano nga yun? Uh, extension. Yun ang bagong pangalan extension, public service. Uh, trade blazing vision as a research university. Uh, inedible impact as a public service university. Sa training and extension siguro. And staunch promotion of national patrimony. Yan daw ang function ng UP. Now, as a research university, uh, inaasahan natin na i- cherish <laughs> it cherish ng system ng UP yung kanyang core people the reps pero kulang sa kalinga ang reps <laughs> kulang sa pansin okay next let's review that this the current policy on hiring promotion tenure is nearly 50% 50 years old in 2000, when was that? In 1967, the board approved the following. That the, yung ruling that the academic staff shall comprise of teaching and non-teaching. And then, in the following policy, uh, the board further defined non-teaching personnel as composed of research, Okay. Academic non-teaching as composed of uh, researchers, extension staff, and uh, other professional service personnel. And then, in uh, 1984, the classification of the academic non-teaching staffs were further focused or refined. And then, uh, there is a, uh, there are more categories now in the professional service sector. And this uh, policy is fo followed by a, a board resolution that renamed the ANTS, academic and teaching staff, to REPS, Research Extension of Professional Staff. Okay. And the policy uh, mandated that the reps be involved in um, promotion of knowledge through discovery of new things or discovery or, or generation of new information and also in the dissemination of such new knowledge, which includes teaching and training. So, as of now, the general guidelines for hiring and uh, securing the services of REPS and UP are as follows. That require, uh, there is a big BOR approved resolution that all qualified reps, qualified for teaching, meaning nagkaroon na ng experience, nagkaroon ng teaching experience, nabigyan ng teaching load for the past. Noon hindi in-identify for how long they have been teaching, but recently there is this uh, parang um, delineation na uh, minimum of three years yata or six semesters of teaching, no? Kasi may, may set requirement, no? So, pag may teaching experience na, 
a qualified reps according to credentials, academic background, and teaching experience, can and should, para in church nila, uh, shift or convert to the faculty already. But the reason this was not um, fully taken advantage of is the fact that I don't know if it's only in UPLB or in the rest of UP system that conversion to faculty by reps, of reps, requires loss of tenure. So let me discourage yung iba to take on the, the promise saying new career. No? Even if they enjoy teaching, if they have to shift to the faculty in UPLB, they require to start a new a steps. With three, sa ngayon, ang, uh, ang current policy is you have to publish within three years, otherwise, hindi ka rin naman regularize. Or, if you are a, uh, adv uh, if you are pursuing advanced degree, you should have earned it within three years, otherwise, hindi mo rin hindi ka rin matitenure. So, yung mga ganong, um, what we call this embellishments to the policy is discouraging to many uh, promising reps who would be assets in the faculty. Next. There is also a uh, provision that the, the merit, uh, the, the Promotion guidelines for reps should be in accordance with university merit system. So, oh, it's clear for, to all of us that the based on pr pr promotion based on merit is, of course, most advisable and desirable. Siyempre, no? Ang problema yata is the weight system in the application or in the, um, what you call this, in the setting up of the merit criteria as well as the weighting and all that, ay mukhang hindi standard across the system. So, there are probably reps who would qualify to get promoted elsewhere in the UP system but not in UPLB. Something like that. Dahil sa iba't ibang uh, waiting system or merit criteria. There was na a chismis na kaya napahirap ang pagpapapromote ng mga refs ay dahil napakaraming magagaling. Ikakaunti ang pera. Kaya pinakipot ng pinakipot ang entry point para walang halos mag-qualify. Parang ganun. Kaya ewan kung totoo yung chismis. Ay, anyway. Next, please. Okay, yung guidelines nga sa UP system for the shifting of reps to the faculty was approved by the BOR. Pero nga, hindi matake advantage um, readily dahil nga sa variations in the appreciation of the merit criteria. Okay? So, ma'am, punta tayo sa baba. Based on a uh, workshop uh, attended by the UP reps along with the all UP ACAD union, um, ACAD employees union, uh, precisely regarding the uh, labor policies for the reps, uh, the UP reps, we came up with the following recommendations. Para ma-standardize, kasi in, we found out in 2009 that salary grade 12 was no longer being filled up in the demand because apparently they consider it under, anong tawag sa ganon? Parang under employment kapag may BS ka na at lalo pa kung galing sa UP ang BS mo. BS physics, grade 12, parang ganon. So, we thought that, uh, 
for purposes of um, equitable uh, equity, di sana, pati yung PLD, ganun na rin ang policy. Wala nang salary grade 12. Okay? So, we recommended, the UPFs, recommended a salary grade 14 as entry level. Okay? And automatic promotion, just like the fact, tama na yun. Nangyayari na yun ngayon. Automatic promotion upon earning of the PhD for the reps, katulad ng faculty. At uh, yung mga salary grade 20 na reps, uh, dapat mag-qualify na for admin or supervisory positions as project leader or unit head, ganon. So that was our recommendation. And in addition, as a result din naman nung uh, workshop in December of 2012, we came up with this additional recommendations, we reps, okay? Promotion and workload crediting must, of the professional staff should be distinct from the RNE because sa ngayon, ang existing policy ay ang promotion and tenure requirements for RNE are sort of parallel to that of the faculty. May mga publication requirements then, which we appreciated was not realistic for the professional uh, personnel, professional staff, kasi sa kanila ang counterpart ay licensure, which they renew every three years yata. Okay? Tapos, another recommendation is that the modified minimum qualification standard uh, point system should be, should cut across the system. Yung pare-pareho yung appreciation ng weights, ng criteria, yung ganun. And then, the reps plantilla Ma, kasi nga, kung we recommend na ang mga 12 salary grade items na mababakante ay huwag nang i-fill up, sana ipull na lang sila para makapag-create ng higher uh, salary grade item para mabukas yung taas. No? Makaakit naman yung nasa iba, baba. And uh, we also felt that the DOST Science Career Path or science career system uh, as an incentive was a good bonus. It's a bonus. But it's, as of now, hindi siya permanent kasi he, incentive lang siya parang icing on the cake. Kasi hindi mo yan makukuha upon retirement eh. You qualify for it every three years yata, no? Every, you re, it gets renewed every three years depending on your productivity if you get awarded. So, nire-renew mo ko lang yun. Madadagdagan sa yata ng two ranks ang salary grade, two to more ranks ang salary grade, but your actual position remains. Kung ikaw ay kunyari, salary grade 20 ngayon, uh, uh, reps, ano yun? Grade 4? 3. Oh, grade 3 ka ngayon, and you get awarded this DOST career incentive, you might earn a salary grade 24 or even 26, but when you retire in two or three years' time, ang tunay niyan, balik ka pa rin sa grade 3, salary grade 20, 20 or 22. Okay, and meron pa po kami mga ibang tayo. <laughs> we, pinanday natin ito nung, when was that? Uh, oh, Oo, at saka ito, itong December, ito, pinanday natin itong mga recommendations na to At ito ay inaasahan natin na magiging basihan ng ating mas masinsinang discussion mamayang hapon. So as you can see, ang aking itong report na yon is not really about the outcome of the conference, pre-conference, last two weeks ago, or last July. Uh, it's uh, parang backgrounder for Amaya because the results of the pre-conference will be presented actually by Sir Danny Mamayahabot 
at saka at the workshop uh, yung yung separate sessions yung simultaneous sessions mamayang hapon doon ipipresent ng mga facilitators yung actual na output ng pre-conference two weeks ago yun yung mga uh, minatricized tama ba yun? minatricized namin in our group workshops in preparation for this yun ang magiging parang talking points actually so so ito pang mga recommendations na na panday natin ng 20 December ay we found in our discussions last two weeks ago that there's still there's still the same concerns so baka mamaya namang hapon ay eh, may matatanggal na tayo baka may mapadagdag pang iba but uh, <laughs> apparently eh, hindi pa tayo nakaka-move on friends so <laughs> We will discuss it later this afternoon how we can break the ceiling on the reps positions. Okay? So yun po. And thank you for your forbearance. <laughs>